Hey guys, so today I'm going to be demonstrating how to install the ChatGPT client in DOS. There's a couple things. There's a couple things you're going to need. You're going to need some hardware, and you're going to need some software. The hardware you're going to need is a network card. I suggest the 3C509. It was widely used, mass produced, and is very cheap to buy. It mine was about twenty five dollars, if I remember correctly. I saw them going from twenty five to thirty. They're very cheap, very easy to get. I suggest looking on eBay. That's where I got mine. Um, the other thing you're going to need, the software you're going to need, is software you're going to need is the three C the three C five hundred nine. If you're using that, that you're going to need the um three C five hundred nine software, packet driver or any packet driver, whichever graphics, whatever network card you're using, you're gonna need the net packet driver. You're going to need the you're going to need the MTCP software for um, DOS and you're going to need the um, ChatGPT client itself. You're also going to have to use a HTTP, HTTP, HTTPS client on um, um, proxy running on um, a modern computer and once you and all this software will be included in the description. So yeah, let's get into it. You are also going to need to connect your um, computer to your network. Whether you do that, you can do that through um, a hardwire into your into your um, network, into your um, into your modem, or in my case, I don't have access to that because my modem's too far away. You can use a um, you can use a Wi-Fi repeater, which is what I'm using. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna copy. We're already booted into DOS, so we're gonna copy the software over. So let's go ahead and do that. This should be the this is the ChatGPT client. Yeah, just making double sure. So first we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do a we're gonna create a new directory and we're gonna call it we're gonna create a new directory and we're gonna call it um and C and we're gonna call it um DOS GPT. Okay. We're in DOS GPT. Now we can do an X copy here. Do X copy and we're gonna do C. Do C. DOS. G. Oh, I forgot the A. A. C. DOS. G. G. B. D. Alright, that's done. Now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna copy. We're gonna do this. We're gonna now we have to do this. Let's do A. Oh, I'm already in A, I'm dumb. Let me just check what this is. Okay, this is the um, MTC MTCP stuff. So we're gonna do um, we're gonna create a new directory and C and we're gonna call it MTCP. Okay, that's created. Now we're gonna do a um now we're gonna do a now we got now we're gonna do a um x copy a c and we're gonna do that um mtcp I just came flying out. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is copy the um this should be the 3C509. Let's just make double sure. So directory listing. Yep, okay. We're gonna do um uh, we're gonna do a copy copy 3C509 dot com and we're gonna just gonna copy it to C. Alright, that's done. Now the next thing we're gonna have now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to go to C and first we're gonna set up the packet driver. So let's just go ahead and run 3C509.com. As you can see it tells you what to do here and just gives you a bunch of information. But for now we're gonna 
we're just gonna do 3c509 into packet interrupt into the interrupt um so we're gonna do it to interrupt 60 so we'll do ox60 and that's done 0x60 i mean and that's done and now that now we got the packet driver loaded so the next thing the next step we have to go to cd go to cd and we're gonna go into mtcp we're gonna do mtcp we're gonna do mtcp and then the next step is we have to create the mtcp cfg .cfg. So let's do that let's do um we're gonna do um we're gonna do cd now we're gonna do edit mtcp cfg .cfg. now the only thing we need to type in here is packet int ox60 that's all we have to type here packet and ox60 and we are done now there is further stuff you could do here you could actually type in a static ip but i don't really i'm not i don't really know how to do that i attempted it and i couldn't get it to work so we're just gonna do a um we're just gonna do a dhcp and we can do that by typing dhcp oh i messed up i forgot to do this after that, after we set that up, we have to do, um, we have to do set mtcpcfg, and we're gonna do um, m set mtcpcfg equals mtcp equals c uh, mtcp mtcpcfg dot cfg. That's all we have to do there. And the next step is the next thing we have to do is now we can run DHCP and that's done and it's detected everything and that's all we have to do there and the next thing we're almost done the next thing we have to do is go into CD change the directory and go into just go back and go out and see CD and go into um, DOS GPT. Okay, now we have to do a directory. Now let's just make sure everything's here. Okay, now the next step is doing a. Now we got to do um, edit DOS chgpt.ini. Now this the top thing is going to be blocked out. This line right here is the top line is going to be blocked out for you. But this is in this top line. You have to put your um, open AI, your open AI, um, your open AI um, secret key. To do this, you just have to go to openai.com or I think it's .com and create a new account if you don't have one. And after you create the new account, you can choose to you can use um, you can choose to use the um, API, and that's pretty much all you have to do. And right here, this chat, this GPT, you can use this to change it to a different, to use a different, um, to use a different, to use a different, um, AI source, a different model. I think, I think it's the other one's Facebook or something. I'm not entirely sure. And I don't remember what this does, but this is the IP we're going to use. This IP will be different for you. So for me, it's just 10. That's for me. And this is the port right here. Give me one moment. All right, I just had to make sure that the um that the chat that the empty that the HTTPS proxy was working. All right, so now that's set up, and this is the port. So this is the IP, and this is the port that it's listening to. We're there's no reason to change this because it's because it's it's already correct it's listening on port 80 that's so uh, that's we don't have to do anything else there and now we're going to exit and yes we do want to save i had already added the chat the, um secret ai the secret um the api key to the um to the um code to the to the file before i copied it over here so the next step is that's pretty much it now the next step we're gonna do DOS DOS CHGPT and we're gonna do a switch. We're gonna use a switch for SB. 
Yes. Welcome to Boss Chat GPT Player. Alright, that's and now we can actually ask it something. So just to make double sure it's working, we're going to do write write me a paragraph paragraph on the IBM um, 50, 5160. So you know the thing. The IBM 5160, also known as the IBM Personal Computer XT, was released in 1983 as an upgrade to the original IBM PC. It featured an Intel 8088 processor running at 4.77 128k of RAM, open ARIM, expandable to 640k, close ARIM, and a 10 MB hard drive. The XT also included a 5.25 inch floppy disk drive, a keyboard, and a monochrome monitor. The XT was popular among business users for its reliability and compatibility with a wide range of software applications. Its expansion slots allowed for additional hardware upgrades, making it a versatile and long-lasting computer system. The IBM 5160 played a significant role in the growth of the personal computer industry and remains a symbol of the early days of computing technology. And that's pretty much it. We're pretty much done. As you can see, it completely works. Everything's fine. <coughs> so yeah, that's pretty much all I got. That's how you set it up. It's quite involved, but doing it the second time is not as hard as doing it the first time. Doing it the first time was really difficult figuring things out. Once you figured it out, it's pretty simple. So yeah, that's about it. Goodbye. And just says goodbye. So yeah, and I, one thing to mention. On the demonstration, I was using an older version. I was using version 14, 0 0.14, I think it is. I was using that version. And, um, I don't know if it was the Mim Maker. I don't know if it was Mim Maker that I ran on a completely different computer or if it's just an upgrade in the system, but I was able to get VGA 240 to run on with Sound Blaster enabled, so that's cool. And, um,. I was a, I updated to the newest version is what I mean. So I updated to version 0 0.15 and got this to work. So yeah, that's all I really have for you. Let me just check that. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.